Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I want to talk about a mix and match of smorgasbord, if you will, of a few different things. The next concept ship, the Apoa, um, Nox, uh, server wipes and, and for UEC, as well as some dev answers that were given on Spectrum um, in regards to reflections, lens player, um, and as well as the Crux Cup racing details, which is now open. So the Apoa, Nox appears to be the next concept ship. I was mistaken in thinking it was going to be the 600i. Um, it's almost basically confirmed now it's the Nox. Uh, CIG have been giving little teasers in their shows, dropping the word Nox, as well as describing it as a space bike. So what do we know about the Nox? The Opoa um, kind of manufacturer create Xi'an ships. At the moment, they just create the Xi'an Scout, which is in-game at the moment. They basically make human exports of those Xi'an ships. Um, we'll eventually probably get like the Volpa Bomber and stuff like that as well, made by um, uh, uh, Apoa. Uh, a, the Nox has been mentioned in a lore piece about the Hyperion Rally. It's an open canopy race, um, with the other ships mentioned being the Drake Dragonfly. Uh, and in lore, it appears that Drake, Apoa, and Origin Jump Works are the sponsors of that Hyperion race. So if we do get another space bike in the future after the Nox, then it's probably going to be from Origin. There's also some top secret posts from the RSI website, which appear to have gone out for people that purchased the early um, uh, Ages Eclipse. They got like this ultra level clearance for seeing like these silly pieces. Uh, they do appear on Reddit as well. Um, basically, it's a picture of the nose of the Nox. Uh, the listing of the, in the picture as well says it's a preview one of two, and the next preview being on the 21st of June. Um, we've also seen uh, what appears to be in ATV, the concept white boxing maybe of the ship as well in the background, if you zoom in. Um, Xi'an engines and thrusters for the ship would typically suggest that it's fast and agile. And from pictures, um, we can see that it's probably going to be a small space bike, possibly with no weapons. It might just be for racing and traveling. And if it is, I'm hoping that it's going to be faster and more agile than the Dragonfly at a not too high a concept price. We don't have an exact idea of cost at all at the moment, but I'm suspecting somewhere in the region between 30 and $45 between that kind of mark. Um, very often there's like a rarity tax on the more exotic alien ships, um, even if this is a gunless small bike. Hopefully it will still be affordable. It's likely that it will be a space and ground operable vehicle, but unable to travel from ground to space um, without a parent ship and from space to ground. Uh, I'd expect to see a concept sale within the next couple of weeks with that Apoa Nox. In regards to server wipes and Alpha UEC items, most major patches will wipe all Alpha UEC bot items and your Alpha UEC balance. This won't affect your rec purchased items or items purchased from the UEC store from the website. Alpha 3.0 will however reset all Alpha UEC data, um, but this might not be the case for every patch. When deciding if they need a wipe or to, and create a clean new database, they consider uh, some things. Um, is there a new schema needed to support the new release? Are there bugs that players have with their accounts that they would benefit from them having a new database and test to see if it's still happening? And are there any bugs with item generation on new accounts that they might need to test and reset? If they don't make a new database for a release, they will continue using the most current database. So they basically wouldn't wipe. In some cases, this can help expose bugs that only occur with the same database being used from one build to the next. After fixing certain bugs, items or problems, or with major changes, they almost certainly will make a, a new database to ensure that players can play the game. As when they develop features like cargo, inventory, at the entity owner manager, uh, repair shops and all that sort of jazz. They are also developing the technology, how they interface with a persistent database. So between major releases, they are likely going to be making large API breaking changes that will invalidate persistent data even if it was kept around. So it's likely to be wiped pretty often uh, with these new patches until stable persistent builds in the future. But as we get closer to a beta, it might happen less or if they need to test something. So we're not gonna get wipes every patch, just most patches. Levels of detail. So ship levels of detail, um, they now use a, um, a method by which 
artists pretty much do it by hand for level of detail. They could use a tool to automatically generate LODs, but they just don't look as good. They don't have the same amount of detail as a artist doing it by hand. Gravity of stars. At the moment, there is no gravity for the stars, and it's possible that they might expand the sophistication of orbital mechanics for gravity on stars, but not for 3.0. Lens flare and glare. So CIG are not happy with the glare and reflections on the canopies at the moment of a lot of the ships. And they're working on better solutions. Hopefully, from my opinion, um, having something involving turning off or significantly lowering the intensity of those reflections and the, the weird effects that you have on your cockpit when you're looking around. But um, they are trying to avoid blocking um, your view with that overly opaque effect is the, the main idea. Uh, lens flare and bloom will be used to convey a sense of brightness in game. It's like the cinematic way that they show this is bright without being super bright on your screen. Uh, their approach will be to legitimately generate the effect by bright elements on your screen. This means that rather than whacking a big lens flare sprite arbitrarily to like bright spots, they're going to very slightly over bright elements that will nat naturally produce a subtle haze. Uh, a very bright element will flare more intensely, that sort of stuff. So they're using quite a, hopefully a good looking effect that's gonna get you the feel of something being bright without being too aggressive. The Crux Cup signups are now open. The Crux Cup is a player made racing competition that you can get involved with. There's three races you can choose to participate from. There's Aurora Racing, which is open to everyone and will be on the old Vanderpool racetrack, uh, but you can, basically only fly an Aurora of any type, but only an Aurora. There's the open category. The open race is suggested for more experienced pilots, but is still open to all. Uh, you can fly any ship you want and the races will be on the record memorial. Uh, there's also the Acrux Championship for elite pilots. So the Acrux Championship, you can choose again any ship you want and it will be on the Defford Link track. If you want to be considered for the championship, please take a screenshot of your best lap on the Defford Link race in any ship and submit it on the Discord link below. Just go on the website, we'll tell you how to sign up for it all then anyway. Only the top 24 entrants will qualify. If you fail to qualify in the uh, Crux Championship, you will automatically instead be entered into the Open category. Uh, you only can enter in one of the races. Um, each of the races have various ships for first to third um, place with a combined prize pool of nearly $1,600 USD uh, if donated ships. If you want to help, you can donate too uh, and support them for future tournaments as well. I'll put all the links to all of that jazz down below as well. Uh, Sign-ups close on the 10th of July. Races uh, for heats start between the 15th of July to the 15th of August, with finals on the 19th of August. Uh, there will be a, a good amount of coverage um, for those heats, uh, especially for the final as well. And all the action can be found on the Crux Cup Twitch channel. You can follow them at twitch.tv forward slash Crux Cup. Links again below. Um, I will also be ho helping host, uh, especially during the final, but wherever I can as well. And it should be a quite a cool little event. Uh, links to the Crux Cup stuff, everything else we've discussed below. Every month, we also give away a spacey shippy. Um, for June, it's a freelancer DUR donated by the Epic Stormfire 962. Thank you very much for that. All you need to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my Star Citizen videos during the month. Um, do you have any questions about, I don't know, the Nox? Or what do you think the Nox is going to be price-wise? Or what's going to be? Is it going to be a, a gunless space spike open canopy kind of cool just for transportation? Um, uh, if you've got any questions about Alpha 3.0, Star Citizen's development, or suggestions, whatever. Uh, a special thank you to my patrons who allow me to do the amount of content I do. If you're interested in becoming one of them, links to Patreon below. But honestly, guys, thank you so much, you legends. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the verse.